Hey guys, welcome back to SolidWorks and NCS Tutor YouTube channel. Before starting the video, if you are new and haven't subscribed our channel, press the subscribe button. In this SolidWorks development tutorial, we are going to learn about the flipping and mirroring of the profiles. As we have covered the basic topics like what are weldments, working with construction plane and adding structural members in our previous videos, I will provide the link in the description. You can watch the videos from there. So sorry for the late tutorial as I was busy in some work. Therefore, I can't upload the tutorial. So we are going to upload the upcoming tutorials in the upcoming days. So stay tuned with the channel. So in this tutorial, we are going to make this part. So you, as you can see that this is the part with the profile at some angle and we will see about the trim, trim or extend command for these pipes. As you can see that this pipe is intersecting with these two pipes. So we will see how we can solve this problem in the video. So let's start. So first of all, go to front plane, go to sketch and we are going to make the rectangle. Uh, center rectangle of 800 by 800 mm which will be a square now we are going to give it the dimension of 800 by 800 mm like this now simply go to exit sketch and for the second sketch we are going to shift the plane or we are going to offset the plane so for that simply select the front plane go to the reference plane option or reference geometry from here and gives a offset distance from here. So select OK. And now we will simply go to sketch. And again, we are going to make this rectangle like this. So now to join these two uh, squares, what we are going to do is we will simply go to 3D sketch. I have explained the 3D sketch in the previous video uh, with detail. You can watch the video from there. So now we will repeat the procedure for all the legs like this. Make sure that you are intersecting these two sketches so that there is no issue with your weldments. So now simply go to sketch and turn off the 3D sketch from here. Now we are going to the weldment tab, turn on the weldment environment by pressing this button. Now simply go to the structural member. So now we are going to add the structural member. So these are the standards like there are two types of standard I, A and SI inch and other one is in millimeters or centimeters like ISO standard. So these are the configured profile already saved in your uh, weldment library. In the next video we will show you that how you can create custom profile and save it in the SOLIDWORKS weldment library. So from here we are going to select the C channel configured profile and we are going to use the 80 cross 8 size. So now from here you can see that this is the group tab. Once I will select the lines like this you can see that the group has been created. So I am going to select these four edges like this. So now let me show you what is the flipping and how mirroring and how you can change the profile to some other direction. So basically, first of all, this is the merge meter trim bodies. If I will give some gap, you can see the distance between these two meter joints. So if I will select this merge meter trim body, your two bodies will be merged at this pink point or joint. So now the other option is the mirror profile. Once I will select the mirror profile, you can see that our uh, profile has been mirrored across this horizontal axis. If I will select this vertical axis, you can see that it has moved outward. So the next option is the alignment option. So if I will select the alignment line for this sketch, you can see that the, uh, the profile has been aligned across this with the horizontal axis. 
So if I will select the vertical axis, you can see that it is aligned across the vertical axis along this line. So I am going to use the horizontal axis for this and now I am going to use the angle. So this is the angle by which you can rotate your profile like this. So now you can see that our shape has been ready. Now we will simply select OK from here. So now our profile is ready. We have to make the legs along this sketch. So again we will go to structural member and now we will select pipe from here. Select the 21.3 cross 2.3 pipe and select these four legs like this. So now from here you can see that these two bodies are not merging with each other. So I will show you how to solve this problem. So for that we have to go to, so for that we will go to trim or extend command from here and we, there are two options. One is bodies to be trimmed and another body is trimming boundary. So I will select the body to be trimmed. So you can also use the allow extension from here so that it can be extended up to this face. So now I will select these two faces so that it can be extended toward these two faces. So now you can see that it is only projected on these two faces and it is not intersecting from inside. So now simply select OK from here and repeat the procedure for other three edge, uh, legs like this. Select OK from here. So if I will select the body to be trimmed and from here I will select the bodies. So it will extend it up to bodies or it will be trimmed of it but it is not taking this body for this extension so therefore we were using face plane like this. Select OK. So now you can see that how easily we have used this trim or extend command and we have make our edges merge with these faces. So now we are going to make the bottom part or base. So again we will go to structural member from here and from here we will again select these pipes like this. So once you have selected these four edges, you can see that this pipe is intersecting along this base. So I will show you how you can solve this problem. So now we will simply go to trim extend command again, select this body because we have to trim this body and we will select these two faces. So now you can see that it has been merged across these two pipes. So if you want to ma make some gap, you can make it from here. This is basically the weld gap. If you want to turn off it, you can uncheck this option. So select OK from here and you can see that your corner is ready for the welding like this. So if you want to see your body, just simply go to direct editing command, select this body and drag it outward like this. So now you can see how easily you have made this shape for this two pipes. So this was a simple tutorial on trim or extend flipping and mirroring of your profile. So in the next video we are going to learn about the creating custom profiles or working with joints. So thank you for watching, keep supporting and keep sharing our channel for the more interesting videos.